I do have a routine that I've put in place throughout the years that helped me feel right. It comes from uh, visualization, uh, so I do that through meditation. I take, I take about 15 minutes before each race, uh, lay down in the dark and just meditate. It all starts from what you're doing at home too. Not only what happens on the weekend because there's not really a lot of time from start to finish during the weekend to really have the right nutrition, drink enough fluids, eat the right food and stuff, it's, everything's thrown at you very fastly. So doing stuff at home with hydration, eating properly, getting on the right sleep schedule is very crucial parts to how your weekend's gonna go. I like to visualize. I think it's a big part of preparing your body and your mind so that when you get on the track, you, you kind of feels more familiar to you of what you wanna do. And then when you kind of hit the track, you've got those markers and those references that you've kind of gone through in your mind that you wanna hit. I started doing uh, meditation at 16 years old because I was really struggling with controlling my emotions. Um, and as a racer, this is key to success, is controlling your emotion, using your strength when you have it, when you can, using your energy as well. Well, when I was younger, I worked a lot with imagery, visualizing a lap around the track before the session, before I walked out to the grid. A lot of times I, I would listen to music while I did that, um, and then I would keep the music on while I walked to the grid. And I found that kind of taught my brain how to relax in a certain way um, so that it got to a point where I no longer needed the music, I just used the imagery. Every morning when I wake up, I listen to Bob Marley. Uh, I'm a big reggae guy, so uh, stick figure, Bob Marley, uh, that's, that's my go-to and it helps me just wake up with a good mood. And honestly, good mood often translates into fast uh, pace. When I was young, I used to like listen to music to pump me up, but then I think the pump up music would end up leading me to overdrive the car at the start. I like to listen to music, but I'm not that guy with, you know, with the headphones all the time. Uh, when I run, I run without a music. I don't really listen to any music. There's a lot of drivers that do. For me, my way to kind of get ready for the race is understanding the strategy, understanding the data, understanding what the tires are going to do and what to expect in the race. And that's my way to kind of just switch on. I like to be relaxed, laughing, having a good time. I'm very regimented and some of it is a bit of superstition as well. <laughs> I always put my right shoe on, right glove on first. Um, I eat the same meal pretty much, lunch and dinner every weekend if I'm at the track. Yeah, the breakfast, I don't use like different type of visors. I always use the dark one. Um, I always use the same underwear for racing <laughs> for years and years ago. The only thing that you can be sure of before a stint that I get in the car is that I'll have to pee at least 30 times before I do it. Usually about an hour before any session, anything on track, I like to be kind of alone. Um, granted, when you're in an indie car, a lot of times you get cameras, media in your face, so that's, that's something that you gotta be able to, to switch on and off very fast. You just have to kind of train your brain and train your personality um, to kind of switch back and forth between things. If you come outside and there's a bunch of fans that want autographs, you've gotta kind of engage with them, but when you kind of cross back over inside the trailer, you need to switch your brain and switch your mode back to race mode. So I think when you first kind of come into the sport and you're kind of exposed to that, I'd say popularity and excitement, it's easy to get caught up in it and kind of emotionally drain you. Uh, but the more you kind of get used to it, you can find a balance that you can do a bit of both and it's not, you just don't want it to affect your, your on-track performance. When my helmet goes on, I go into a different mode. Um, and that's something that is, I don't know if it's unique to me, it's unique to others, but that's kind of my way to get in the mode of, of race mode, I guess. I don't like to be too ready because if I feel I get in the car ready to go, I over push for what the car can accept on the first, on the warm up laps in that sense. So I like to build up with the car. That's my way of doing it. I think what you need to do is when you have a really good race and you find that you're, you know, in the zone, they, so they call it. Um, I think you should look back and reflect on what you did before getting in that zone or you know what really helped you get into that window where you felt really good in the car and then you should see if it's repeatable.